Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all doing fantastic. So this is a video I was asked to do. So let me start off. This is kind of a general chiropractic synopsis to put that in a nutshell. So as I was saying, I was asked to do this video. So a lot of times when people have their spine misaligned, they don't understand what fully is going on there. So in order to have your spine misalign, you've had, you've had some form of ligament damage. So wouldn't it make sense to test your ligaments? That's what that beastie over there excels at. Actually, it's the best machine in the world at detecting these issues. But you could also take regular stress films. So those would be called flexion extension films for the most part. What those do is allow us to grade the severity of ligament laxity or the looseness of the ligament. So us as chiropractors, what we do, we fix or correct bones in the spine that don't move. So they're fixated. And generally when you have that sort of ligament laxity, it tends to be rather minor. Not saying that we don't help some of the most serious conditions ever get better, just saying that's our wheelhouse are these ones that don't move. So to put this into perspective, the reason why we're so insistent upon doing the testing that we do, number one, you should definitely have pictures of the areas that you're working on and tell if they move too much or not enough. Kind of tells you where you can and can't work. It's a road map. Also, the reason that we do the CLA scans, so let me put this in a nutshell. So it doesn't matter if a bone is moving incorrectly, or I should say if a bone is moving too much or not moving at all, it can still cause nerve irritation. Acutely, what that will do is lead the nerve to hyperfire, so to fire too much. And when we say that, People often associate that with muscle spasms, and they would be correct. But people also don't think that those nerves go to organs, so that can cause a major issue at the what we call the end organ. So if you irritate it at the spine acutely, you can cause hyperfiring of the nerve and what that leads to. Also, another big key portion of this is the EMG. We can actually grade how severe the muscle issue is. So in order to damage the spine, you already have had to gone through um, your muscular control system. So it's already a serious injury to begin with because 80% of your spinal stability is derived from your musculature. And now that you're into the ligament, AKA the chiropractic zone, it's pretty dang severe. You're not gonna PT that away. They're the muscle pros. We deal with the spine and nervous system. So, and now looking at this as far as nervous system function goes, what we'll tend to see is chronically, people that wait to get these problems addressed, what you'll see is hypofiring of the nerves. So then you'll start to see things like muscle flaccidity, it's too loose, can't hold, help hold things in place. So there you go, that starts to make sense. On the thermal scan, you'll still see the temperature differential, but also on those thermal scans, we can also look at blood flow to the area. So we'll have a timeline of more or less how long it's been there and in the terms meaning acute or chronically. Obviously chronic conditions take much, much, much longer to get better than acute conditions. So. I hope this made sense for everyone and that they have a little bit better understanding of their bodies now. So if you guys have, guys and gals have any questions or comments, you can drop them below this video or shoot them over to us in a message and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Have a great day. See ya.